Welcome back everybody. Uh, the download is finished. So uh, we have it in the downloads folder. Just open up Finder and go into downloads folder. So Finder is here and then go into the downloads folder and you will see something like this. Call Linux 2.0.0 VBox AMD 64.7Z. Now if there is a newer version feel free to download it. You should be fine. It should work without any problems of whatsoever. Now, what we need to do is actually unpackage this because this is a zipped file. This is a packaged file and uh, feel free to go to the App Store and download Sotter from there if you wish. I personally did not install Homebrew here yet or Macboards or anything like that. I've opted to go for Homebrew and I'm going to go ahead and install it now and then I'm going to install a software in order to unzip this file, to unpackage it. If you have some other software that you wish to use or prefer to use, you don't need to follow through this entire tutorial. You can go ahead and skip it. Uh, but if you would like to do it as I did, uh, feel free to follow along. So anyway, is fine as long as you can unpackage this file. Okay, so let's go ahead and open Safari. And let's go ahead and search for uh, Homebrew Mac. There we go, the missing package package manager for OS X should be the first one that pops. It doesn't really have HTTPS encryption, but then again, there isn't really anything, you don't really need to log into this site or anything like that. Uh, you only have installation instructions, which I myself am going to follow. No big deal, really. So let's go ahead and uh, copy this. So all that I did to copy was double tap to select or triple tap to select the entire thing, press command C, and then I'm gonna open up my terminal here. And this is a horrendous looking color if you ask me, but oh well, no big deal. I'll just paste this command and press enter. I'm probably gonna be required uh, pseudo privileges. Uh, no, okay, apparently not. The extron command requires the command line developer tools. Would you like to install the tools now? Uh, okay, install them. Mac SDK and Xcode agreement. Apple incorporate. Fine, whatever. Should be should be fine. Okay, so it says a less than a minute. That should finish up fairly fast. Silly hope that I got the site right. Brew.sh. That should be the one that was advertised and that I pretty much have everywhere else. You can also go to Homebrew GitHub and follow the link from there. Uh, it should be in the README. Packages are available, homebrew summarized on the homepage. So there we go, this is the homepage brew.sh. Okay, so let's just uh, do this. Raw GitHub user, GitHub user content, GitHub user content.com, homebrew install homebrew install, master install. Okay, so that seems to be fine. It says press return to continue or any other key to abort. Just go ahead and press return and let it fly. So now you will be prompted for a administrator password and uh, you do need to be either using the admin account or log into your admin account via the terminal. To log into your admin account via the terminal, you can just, I'll show you how to do it actually. You can just use the uh, su command, so su space admin account, username, enter, and then you'll type in your password and then type in whatever you need to type in. Just type in this command that I've typed in or that I've copy pasted pretty much from the net. So let's go ahead and type in our password. And it's going, it's starting. Oh, it's downloading and installing Homebrew. I actually have no idea how long this will take. It will probably be just easier to set up a Apple ID, but I don't really feel like doing that to, I don't really feel like 
they don't really feel like it at the moment. I like to go the long way around, and I do believe that I need this anyway. Well, not for the course, but for all the things that I need to do, and I figured it would be a nice thing to show to everybody how they can do it without much hassle. So let's type in brew search. Let's see if this works like Linux. That would be awesome if it does, like the Linux Packet Manager. Uh, brew search uh, you... I don't know, uh, z 7-zip, are you going to find, ah, there we go, P7-zip, I know that one from Linux, I can use that one, so brew install, it's awesome because I get a Linux-like functionalities in Mac, which, and I really prefer to install things via the command line. You might argue that it's simpler to use a GUI, but I'm not feeling it. You have an interface which you need to follow through, you have a bunch of things that you need to click on, etc. Like this, I just type in the name of the package and install it. That's it. Downloading HD binary, uh, pouring Yosemite bottled. Tar okay, so it should be fine now. Let's go ahead and type. try typing in P7. Uh, no, what was it called? U zip. Wait, I need to see where I am, and then I need to go to the downloads folder, and I have a file which needs unzipping, so I could either go through the GUI, but let's see if I can manage in the terminal. Zip. Oh, nice. Okay, you have it. Excellent. So let's press enter. End of central directory signature not found is not a zip file or it constitutes. Oh, right, so I got the wrong one. Hmm. I'm guessing this did not extract it at all. Of course not. So let's use. Let's use the. Let's try using the GUI to actually extract it because I completely forgot the command and I'm pretty sure that this won't work. Choose application. And do we have a 7-zip here? It did the does the homebrew function in this fact in this manner? Uh, no, it does not. Keep in mind that I could have done all of this prior to this, but I wanted to encounter all the problems the very first time Mac user would encounter, so that everybody could see that it is doable. And if I have to eat my own words at a certain period of time, oh well. I shall eat them, I guess. Okay, let's use p zip. Nope. Uh, well, how about if we do ls bin? It should be in the bin directory, right? Uh, unlink touch test pass wdsh sleep packs domain name echo kill. Nope, not here. Let's see where the installation folder was. It should be. Uh, user local cell pzip, okay, cd, uh, not user, it's usr, where else did I have to go, uh, t -t 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 local, local, p, come on, why are you doing it, ah, uh, cellular, so, pzip, enter ls, uh, oops, so this is a change log, readme, to-do list, libbin, share, let's go into the bin. Ah, there we are. So, 7z, oops, 7z, dash dash, help. So give me the help button. So add files to archive, benchmark delete files, extract files from archive without using directory names. Okay, fine, let's try the extract. Dash E. Uh, okay, so... Downloads. If you were wondering what this curved sign, the tilde, is, that's the shortcut for the user, current user's home directory. So I could have, I could have just typed in like this on Linux, if I'm not mistaken, this should work. Uh, 
Uh, no, actually, it's, that's not the that's not how you type in the home directory in a Mac. This is how you type it on in Linux. But doesn't matter. This is a shortcut, universal shortcut for the home directory of the current user. So I have Kali seven Z press enter incorrect command line. So I wonder what the problem is. Mm -hmm. So I am currently here and I would like to make it all the way to home. It's not downloads. It's not giving me anything else. Okay, so let's see where it actually is physically located because as you can see, I'm quite struggling here. You can just go into and then we're going to go into users and Udemy and then downloads. I hope that you're enjoying me struggling on a Mac, which is quite interesting, I guess, or quite boring for some people. And let's use the uh, same command as before to get help because I really need some assistance with this. So it says usage 7z command uh, switches archive names file names affiliates that all seems to be fine and dandy and I need to pass in a command e hmm maybe it's not passed the way I think it is passed maybe it's passed without a dash so that could also be a possibility let's see if that works out different systems different formats voila there we go so I did manage to figure it out so I'm sure that there will be a lot of people who will say, oh, well, why did you have to do this? Uh, you're really showing that you don't really know how to do it, etc. But as I said, I got a Mac a couple of days ago and I thought it would be a very good idea to actually just uh, record it as I do it to encounter this exact same problems that you would encounter so that I would be able to better relate to all the people who possibly experience any problems so that I would struggle and that you would see how I struggle and how I've found solutions to the problems and in such a way we can I can better help you all out so this is processing this might take a while and we're just gonna leave it to run and then we're gonna see what becomes of it I might actually pause the tutorial here and then continue it continue it in the follow-up lecture and see how that works out but I'm thinking of giving it a little bit more time and then actually uh, pausing it but wish I had a lot of wish I had a lot of other people to consult now but oh well I am alone here I am doing it for the first time so forgive any mistakes that I do make but at least I show the solutions for all the mistakes that I make which in advance solve your possible problems Okay, I hear the drives are spinning pretty fast. I wish I had an SSD at this point of time, but yeah, the price tag was a bit high for a Mac with an SSD. And considering that I just got it for Udemy, yeah, you will forgive me for that, of course. So I'm just gonna split a tutorial here and then we're gonna go ahead and continue on in the follow-up when the unpackaging is actually over and done.